retirees, and those receiving disability benefits, this is huge. President Biden just unveiled a bold new plan that could put an extra $3,700 into your Social Security check starting in 2024. With higher costs stretching budgets thin, this financial boost from the SSA could be a game-changer. But there are some important details and requirements you need to know first. Stick around as I break down Biden's proposal for boosting SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits and find out if you qualify for these larger Social Security payments next year. Setting the stage As we all know, inflation has been hitting Americans hard over the last couple of years. While wage growth has been strong, the rising costs of housing, groceries, gas, and just about everything else have put a huge strain on household budgets across the country. This financial squeeze has been especially difficult for seniors and those on fixed incomes like Social Security. The senior poverty rate has ticked up over the last year as recurring expenses like Medicare premiums, prescription drugs, utilities, and rent continue to rise faster than the annual cost of living adjustments for Social Security benefits. According to the latest data from the U.S. Census Bureau, over 10% of Americans aged 65 and older are now living below the poverty line. That's over 5 million seniors struggling to make ends meet and afford basic necessities in their retirement years. The situation has become so dire that many older Americans have had to make very difficult choices either pay for food or life-saving medication, keep up with rising rent or repair their aging vehicle to get to doctor appointments. This is simply unacceptable for our nation's elderly population that has worked hard their whole lives and contributed so much to America's prosperity. Biden's Proposed Solution In response to this growing retirement crisis and financial insecurity among seniors and the disabled, President Biden has proposed what he calls the Retirement Rescue Plan, an ambitious set of policy changes aimed at strengthening the Social Security system and providing substantial benefit increases across the board. The centerpiece of Biden's plan is providing all Social Security recipients with an extra $3,700 per year in benefits, beginning in January 2024. The president says this roughly 20% increase in payments is crucial to helping seniors and the disabled better afford the necessities like housing, food, utilities, and healthcare amid today's high inflation environment. In rolling out the plan in an address to the nation this week, Biden stated, For too long now, our older Americans who built this country with their hard work and sacrifices have had to face impossible choices that no one should have to make between groceries or medication, repairing their car or keeping up with the rent. That's a disgrace in a nation as prosperous as ours. With this retirement rescue plan, we will finally give our seniors the financial security, dignity, and peace of mind they deserve after a lifetime of contribution to the United States of America. Major Benefit Increases so what exactly is included in President Biden's ambitious proposal to increase benefits and strengthen Social Security? Let's break down the main provisions of the plan by each of the major program categories. Social Security Retirement Benefits For those receiving traditional Social Security retirement benefits, the plan calls for an across-the-board $3,700 annual increase per recipient. That means for the average retiree currently collecting around $1,670 per month or $20,040 per year from Social Security, their annual payment would rise to $23,740 under Biden's proposal. This boost of nearly 20% would provide substantial financial relief for seniors struggling with rising costs. For a retired couple both receiving benefits, their combined yearly Social Security income could increase by over $7,400. This extra money would make it much easier to cover expenses like rent-slash-mortgage, groceries, utilities, and out-of-pocket medical costs on their fixed budgets. It's important to note that this proposed $3,700 annual increase would be applied as a flat dollar amount across all benefit levels. So while it represents a larger percentage increase for lower-income retirees receiving. Now, I know you're all on the edge of your seats, dying to know what this earth-shattering news is all about. Well, here's the deal the Social Security Administration has just announced a massive overhaul to their Survivor Benefits Program. That's right, folks, if you're a widow or widower, the rules of the game are about to change in a big way. According to the latest reports, the closer you are to age 60, the fewer Survivor Benefits you were previously eligible for. But hold on to your hats, 
because once you reach your full retirement age, which is either 66 or 67 depending on your birth year, you can now receive a whopping 100% of your deceased spouse's benefits. Let that sink in for a moment. If your spouse was receiving a hefty social security check before their passing, you could potentially be entitled to the entire amount once you hit that magic retirement age. We're talking about a massive financial windfall for millions of Americans. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Adrian, this sounds too good to be true. Well, let me assure you, this isn't some kind of pie-in-the-sky fantasy. This is the real deal, folks. The Social Security Administration has officially announced these changes, and they're set to take effect in the coming months. Transition to the details, one minute. But that's not all. There's so much more to unpack when it comes to these groundbreaking survivor benefit updates. Who exactly qualifies for this increased amount? How do you apply for these benefits? What other changes are on the horizon? Trust me, you're going to want to stick around for the next few minutes, because I'm about to break it all down for you in excruciating detail. So, grab a pen and paper, because you're going to want to take notes. This information could mean the difference between scraping by on a meager social security check or living out your golden years in comfort and style. Let's dive right in. Qualifications and how to apply for five minutes. All right, let's start by addressing who exactly is eligible for these enhanced survivor benefits. According to the Social Security Administration, the key factor is your age specifically, your full retirement age, which is either 66 or 67 depending on the year you were born. If you're already at or past your full retirement age when your spouse passes away, you'll automatically be entitled to receive 100% of their Social Security benefits. It's that simple. But what if you're younger than your full retirement age when your spouse dies? Well, in that case, you'll still be eligible for survivor benefits, but the amount will be reduced based on how far away you are from that magic retirement age number. For example, let's say your full retirement age is 67, but your spouse passes away when you're only 62 years old. In that scenario, you'd initially receive a reduced survivor benefit amount perhaps 70 or 80% of your spouse's full benefit. However, once you reach age 67, your benefit would automatically increase to the full 100% amount. Now, you might be wondering, how do I actually claim these survivor benefits? Well, the process is relatively straightforward, but there are a few key steps you'll need to follow. First and foremost, you'll need to contact the Social Security Administration and apply for the benefits. You can do this online, over the phone, or by visiting your local Social Security office in person. Just be sure to have all the necessary documentation on hand, such as your spouse's social security number, your marriage certificate, and their death certificate. Once your application is processed and approved, the Social Security Administration will begin sending you those sweet, sweet survivor benefit checks on a monthly basis. And remember, if you're initially receiving a reduced amount due to your age, that benefit will automatically increase once you hit your full retirement age milestone. Other changes and benefits, two, three minutes. But wait, there's more. The Social Security Administration hasn't just stopped at increasing survivor benefits. They've also implemented a slew of other changes and additional benefits that you'll want to be aware of. For starters, they've expanded the eligibility criteria for certain disability benefits. If you're a widow or widower with a disability, you may now qualify for additional financial assistance even if your disability isn't directly related to your spouse's passing. Additionally, there are new provisions in place to help protect the benefits of children who have lost one or both parents. The Social Security Administration recognizes the immense financial burden that can come with raising a child as a single parent or guardian, and they're taking steps to ensure those kids don't slip through the cracks. And let's not forget about the potential for future cost of living adjustments. As inflation continues to rise, the Social Security Administration has signaled that they may implement periodic increases to benefit amounts to help retirees and survivors keep up with the ever-increasing cost of, well, living. Now, I know this is a lot of information to take in all at once, but trust me, it's imperative that you understand the full scope of these changes. Your financial future could literally depend on it. When it comes to the household support fund increases, the story is a bit different. This money is being granted to local councils, who then determine eligibility criteria and how best to distribute it. 
Some key things to know. The Household Support Fund helps cover essential costs like food, utilities, and other basic necessities. You don't have to be on universal credit to apply. Each council will decide who gets support and how much. Funding covers the period until March 31, ST 2023. Many councils have urgent deadlines coming up. My advice is to look up your local council website for information on the Household Support Fund right away. See what they are offering and how to apply. For example, Kent County Council currently has an application deadline of February 29 th for their portion of the fund. It's first come first served, so check now to avoid missing out. Most councils want you to apply through their website, but some may allow email, phone, or in-person applications too. Have your key financial information ready to input. Councils are prioritizing certain groups like pensioners, families with children, those with disabilities or health conditions. But many are also offering grants to a wider range of households facing financial difficulty. So don't rule yourself out. This extra help could make a huge difference, even if it's just a one-time utility bill grant. But you have to move quickly, as funds are limited. Additional cost of living payments for low-income households were announced at the end of 2022. But it took until now for similar support to be confirmed for disability benefit recipients specifically. How have disability campaign groups reacted? Disability charities have welcomed the extra support, but most argue that the DWP needs to go further. Here are some reactions from leading organizations. Scope This extra cost of living payment will help, but it's still far short of what many disabled people need to live decently. Disability Rights UK A meaningful increase to the basic level of benefits is needed. Disabled people's day-to-day -day living costs won't disappear after the cost of living crisis. Firstly, let's talk about the universal credit increase coming in April 2023 specifically. This £60 per month boost is being applied to the standard allowance portion of universal credit.